Aloha America and welcome to the first state, the great state of Delaware. Before I tell you where I am in the great state of Delaware, please, if you've not done so already, please take the $50 pledge by donating $50 today or more to OperationFirstResponse.org. Why? Mr. Sports Travel on the road for OperationFirstResponse.org because they are a kick butt charity that as a four-star rating from Charity Navigator, they help our veteran service members, first responders, and their families. That $50 is going to go to help those individuals, not to marketing, not to publicity, to help our veterans. My late father was in the Air Force, got me into sports travel, taught me the importance of freedom, and if freedom is not free, and our service members, our vets, our first responders, our police, our fire, our EMTs, and their families, are doing something greater than themselves. They're serving, and so when they need help, we need to help them. So your $50 will help them. In exchange for the $50, would you like to meet me in the flesh, Mr. Sports Travel? Or how about me help you plan a sports road trip? Or let's throw having some beers together. Let's throw some football before a football game or catch a basketball game together. I will meet you, or we can do it over video if you want to social distance or over email, over phone, I will help you plan your road trip or just chat with you. I just asked for $50 to OperationFirstResponse.org. Now, before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to my good friend from college. I'm not gonna use his real name because he still might be in the witness protection program, but Ginny Conway, how you doing? Maury's hat, wigs don't come off, even at the wrong time, even underwater. You probably have no idea what I'm saying there. I'm gonna get the papers, get the papers. Uh, watch the movie Goodfellas for some of these lines here. You really are a funny guy. So my good friend, Jimmy Conway, not the real Jimmy Conway that's dead, that was actually a criminal, but my good friend, uh, who we used to call Jimmy Conway. Uh, aloha to you, my friend. Thank you for your friendship. I love you. Glad you happily uh, remarried. Hopefully you can see you soon. All right, so where is Mr. Sports Travel in the first state? Well, if you look very carefully, you see some signage here. Oh, that's right. I'm at the flagship university in front of the football stadium. I am at the University of Delaware on a pretty nice morning here in March. I must say, I feel I've got the right attire on. It's definitely not a shorts day. That's not a jacket day, not, at least not right now. There's no wind. And if you watched any of Mr. Sports Travel's other videos as he celebrates a sports landmark in front of each of the 50 states, plus the District of Columbia, sometimes I've had some wind. And wind sucks for two reasons. One, it sucks because it blocks out the noise. But the second reason is, Mr. Sports Travel's had a few man mishaps where his camera has almost fallen, but he's recovered and saved it. Uh, in particular, watch the, I believe it's the New Hampshire video. Or maybe I have them wrong. It might be the Georgia video where he had to save his camera in the nick of time before it hit the concrete. Not that it's ever happened before in Mr. Sports Travel. So, why did I pick Newark, Delaware? I'm in Newark, Delaware. Uh, why did I pick this location? Well, when you think about Delaware athletics in a general sense, there's only two professional teams in the whole state of Delaware. Answer, momentarily. But really, when you think about Delaware, and athletics in general, you think of amateur athletics because it's not a big state. Uh, it doesn't have an MLB team, an NBA team, an NHL team, uh, or an NFL team. In fact, most of the fans here that live in Delaware, especially in the Wilmington area, they're so close to Philadelphia. They only like 30, 45 minutes to Philadelphia, depending on traffic and where exactly you are, where you're going in Philly. So you got a lot of Flyer fans here, Eagle fans, uh, you know. 76er fans, etc. right? So maybe in the southern part, it's not much of a southern part, but you might have some, some Baltimore Oriole fans, you might have some fans of other teams. In the Baltimore area, the Ravens. But there's no, you know, you got Baltimore, Wilmington, and then you're in Philly, right? And that's, that's what it is. So when you think about Delaware athletics, you think amateur athletics. So I chose this location. This is actually a mega complex for the Delaware Blue Hens. Here's the football stadium. You can see over my shoulder here, that is the basketball arena. Uh, 
uh, and of course, Mr. Sports Travel has been there. Uh, and also, you can't see it in the camera view, but there's actually a hockey rink here too. Yes, a hockey rink. And the baseball complex, of course, Mr. Sports Travel has seen a baseball game in every, nearly every Division One baseball venue, plus the basketball, is also in this complex. So this is a mega complex uh, on the campus of University of Delaware. Now the main campus is actually, if my memory serves me, the main campus is down that away. So that's kind of why I chose the University of Delaware. There's only one other Division I uh, program in Delaware. There's other colleges, but Division I program, and that is Delaware State, which is an HBCU. And Delaware State is actually in the capital of Dover. And by the way, if, if you're like me and you love visiting all the state capitals, uh, Delaware is a great state capital to visit. Dover is a very unique building, a lot of great buildings, history right in the town of Dover, and Delaware State is there. All right, so in each of these videos, I talk about my most recent visit to the state, my first visit ever to the state, and my favorite visit to the state, because I am celebrating my 50th year on this beautiful planet, and we're marking a celebration of each of the 50 states with a video of each of the 50 states in front of a sports landmark. So let's start with my first ever sporting event in the great state of Delaware, and that would have been in 2004, and on that trip I went to come see the new Phillies ballpark. Uh, the Phillies had finally blown up Veterans Stadium, or were about to, but they were gone. They were not at Veterans Stadium anymore. That, that donut, useless donut that they had, they built a new ballpark, and it opened in 2004, and my good friend Jimmy Conway, out of the Witness Protection Program, we went to the game, saw the Phillies. My other good friend, Spanky, who also may, his name may remain anonymous because he might also be in the Witness Protection Program. I'm joking, of course. Uh, we went to the Phillies game. They were playing the Expos. I think that was actually the last year of the Expos. They, the next year, they became the Washington Nationals. And I want to say it was in April. Well, on that same road trip, I think it was the next day, that Saturday or Sunday. I want to say it was that Sunday. It was a sunny day like today. It was a nice day. And uh, Jimmy Conway and I, I believe, we went to the Wilmington uh, Blue Rocks, which is a professional minor league team, one of two professional minor league teams. I'm going to give you the second one momentarily in the great state of Delaware. So this ballpark, if you ever had a chance to go to it, uh, the Wilmington Blue Rocks right off of I-95 has a nice view of downtown Wilmington. It has one of the wildest mascots in America. Celery, does that intimidate you? What's the name of your mascot? Celery. Oh, you, you, mean, you mean, yeah, celery, yeah, yeah, celery. Actually, it's a pretty cool mascot. So that was my first sporting event in the great state of Delaware. And since then, I've seen all the Division I basketball and baseball here at UDEL as well as Delaware State. And I've actually seen some other sports throughout the state as well. Now let's talk about my most recent visit, and then we'll talk about my favorite visit, as I do with each of these videos. And please feel free to watch my other videos. Welcome your feedback. I'm going to give you my social media before the, uh, this video ends, and please become my friend here on YouTube. I need some friends on YouTube. Please become my friend. I'm still learning the social media stuff, folks. I'm turning 50. I'm not the social media generation. Now, most recent visit to the great state of Delaware. I will be catching a sporting event later on this trip here. But up until now, most recent sporting event was the other professional team here in the state of Delaware, minor league, and that is the G League affiliate. G League, what is the G League, Mr. Sports Travel? The G League is the NBA's minor leagues, basically, and nearly every team now has uh, a minor league affiliate. Well, the minor league affiliate for the Philadelphia 76ers is the Delaware Blue Coats, the Delaware Blue Coats, and they play also in Wilmington. And I want to say I was at either the first or the second ever home game for the Wilmington Blue Coats. Mr. Sports Travel really needs to get an assistant to determine the facts here. But it was either the first or the second. I remember it was January 2019, and new facility they built, kind of like a field house, pretty simplistic, but very nice venue. January 2019, Mr. Sports Travel saw the Delaware, uh, now I forgot the name, the G League team. I do these videos in real time, folks. It's live, local, and late breaking. I'm the camera operator and the talent. 
and I'm getting old, so I might be forgetting some things. But I was there, the Delaware Blue Coats, that's it, the Delaware Blue Coats. No, someone didn't tell me behind the camera, I just remembered. So Delaware Blue Coats. Now, Mr. Sports Travel, as many of you know, has been to every MLB, NFL, NBA, NHL arena, as well as all Division I basketball, of which there's 357 plus. That's the big cojones that Mr. Sports Travel has done. Closing in on seeing all the Division I football, baseball, and hockey. But he's also been, not only to every minor league baseball park, of which there used to be a lot more than there are now, but he's been to every G League venue. So every, nearly every NBA team now has an affiliate and there's uh, 30 NBA teams. And of course, Mr. Sports Travel has been to all of the G League venues, including the Delaware Bluecoats. So you got the two professional minor league teams, one for baseball, one for basketball, both in Wilmington, which if you have a credit card, look carefully on your credit card or on the documents of your credit card, your bank is probably based in Wilmington, Delaware, at least your credit card bank is. But enough of that, we probably know that already. And of course, President Biden, Mr. Biden, President Biden from Delaware, well established. So let's talk about my favorite venue experience in the great state of Delaware. Giving you my first, giving you my most recent. I would say my favorite was my first. It was a beautiful day. I was with my friends who I've known since college and okay, I've given them the, the, the shout outs here in the video. And when you think about sports, and the reason I always say it's the best uh, reality TV there is, it's because it's live, right? So when my friend and I went to that game, we didn't know who was going to win the game, who was going to hit a home run, who was going to make a great play. And it was a glorious day. And in April in this part of the country, I want to say it was mid to late April, you'll take a sunny day anytime. And it was a beautiful day. It was a glorious day. It wasn't shorts and t-shirt that's that's getting greedy right but it was like this it was a nice day no wind beautiful day from baseball sunny day nothing like the sun hitting you in a ball game so that was probably my favorite i've since been back to the blue rocks probably at least a couple times to see a game and because it's a great park it really is so if you're looking for a great minor league baseball park to visit right off of 95 you're going to be in the Baltimore area, the Philadelphia area. Highly recommend the Wilmington Blue Rocks right off of 95. Crawley, Crawley Stadium, Judy Johnson Field. Judy Johnson was a great Negro Leagues player. There's a statue of him in front of the stadium. Crawley Stadium. All right, this has been the Delaware video. You learned a lot. Two professional teams in the great state of Delaware. Uh, here I am at the University of Delaware. No wind. Mr. Sports Travel likes the no wind. Please follow me on social media at mrsportstravel.com. That's at mrsportstravel.com. Mr. Sports Travel on Instagram and Twitter. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big Twitter guy, but you will find the video links on my Instagram as well as my YouTube. Please become a friend and follow me on Instagram as well. Friend here on uh, YouTube, become my friend here. On Facebook, I'm Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. Somebody took M-R. Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R, sportstravel.com on Facebook. So again, in review, this has been the Delaware video. I am celebrating each of the 50 states as I turn 50. And I want you, if you've not done, already, done so already, to please take the $50 pledge. Donate $50 to Operation FirstResponse.org, Operation FirstResponse.org. And the backstory here, folks, they're not paying me to do these videos. I actually approach them. I approach them because I care a lot about our veterans, service members, first responders, and their families, as many of you know. My late father was in the Air Force, and freedom is not free. I know that. I've been to more than 35 countries on this planet to see sports across six continents. A lot of these countries, in fact, most of these countries I visited are not free. So I don't even know if I could even shoot a video in these countries without getting shot. So don't take freedom for granted, folks. We need to make sure we take care of our vets, service members, first responders, and their families. And by the way, how OperationFirstResponse.org does that is, if let's say you have a veteran who has PTSD, and maybe they're waiting on their paperwork from the VA, or maybe something's happening, they need to get that treatment now. They can't wait. 
And so your donations will help that veteran get the treatment they need. And while they're getting that treatment, Operation First Response, if necessary, will help pay for that person's rent, utilities, again, on a temporary basis. But that's the idea. We want to make sure we take care and help our service members, our vets, our first responders, and their families. Hope you enjoyed the Delaware video. Please follow me on social media. Please become my friend here on YouTube. I'm a friendly guy, become my friend. Again, a shout out to my good buddy, Jimmy Conway. Hopefully he's out of the witness protection program. Just kidding. And you really are a funny guy. This has been the Delaware video. Beautiful sunny day in the first state. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.